So welcome everyone. Um, here we are again at Bonbo in the barn on a really rainy afternoon. It's raining so much the water's coming in. Oh, yes. <laughs> but it's good that we spot it. Yeah, yeah. So what I'd like you to do is um, if you have another yoga mat, then roll it up. If not, if you, you if you could go and get a towel or something like that, a blanket that you can roll up into a and we'll use that in a moment. So I'll let you, I'll let you go and get that. And uh, we'll just, um, we'll just start on our knees like this. Yeah. So we've been, we've been alternating more or less looking at the standing poses and looking at bending the spine into flexion and extension. So I'm going to bring those two things together. So what I want you to do is just be on your hands and knees and just move around. So when we move, we come away from, you know, being fixated on making a shape and worrying that we're doing it right. And we move the weight of our body. So you can feel the weight moving through your hands and through your kneecap, down into your toes. And that's a good thing. Okay. And then we're just going to let the spine hang through. You can, I find if I bend my elbows, it hangs through even more. But you know, you find out how that works for you. This feeling that way up at the top of the shoulder blades, the spine is hanging down, the head can come up or down, but also that you're releasing all the layers of your belly around the belly button. It might even feel like it's stretching and that your, your tail is going up. Yeah. yeah, and then we can kind of slide through and slide back a bit. So we're, we're hanging the spine and we're, we're moving it in this long, long hangy back bend. And then we're just gonna go the other way. Don't squeeze your stomach muscles, just let your head be very heavy and your tail be very heavy. And again, we're just, we're just sliding through. And notice that if you push from the hands, your shoulder blades slide away from each other and you kind of go higher up into that bend. Yeah, that's good. So just do that again, but change your hand position. So you'll see that from here, to here, it has a profound impact on what your spine can do because the different parts of the hand work on different parts of the shoulder blade. So if you're more here and you let your spine hang and then you let your spine go up, it's different from if the hands are more parallel or if the hands are really turned out and the breath. So don't make, don't worry about the shape. Just, yeah, that's beautiful. Just really move through the spine and don't worry. Yeah, so that's it. So it can hang and it can arch and you move a little bit forwards and back. So you're doing a very, very rich, sophisticated thing with your spine to shoulder blades, especially the pelvis. Yeah, that's great. You can be faster, slower, you can be very gentle and supple. It's, it's really up to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so hopefully everyone's back with their with their log, with their Christmas log. And so what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is this, have a look. We're gonna take this, you roll it up, so you have something thick under you, just watch me. And then we're gonna put it on the mat so that from your lower back or tail, depending on how long your log is, to your head, you lie on it.
Yeah, and then bend your legs so your feet are flat on the ground. So what you're doing is you're letting your, your make sure your head is on the log. What you're doing is you're letting your spine open out into a back bend from side to side over the log. That should be soft enough that it doesn't disturb you with the curviness of your spine. Put your arms wide and just close your eyes for a moment and just let the weight of your body work over the log. So it's as if your spine was rising up to the sky, but your body was folding over and dropping to the sides. Okay, now big, big feet, wide arms, palms up. You can watch me if you're not sure what we're doing next, but we're going to let the tail go up. So if you do yoga, this is the beginning of Setu Bandhasana, but it's on a log. Your, your tail is going up, your head starts to come off the log a bit. Well, it's not important if it doesn't. And you, you, um, you, you slide up with your tail. Yeah, that's it. And you, you, you go as high as you can. Yeah, try not to let the leg, the knees fly away from each other. Yeah, I also started to get a cramp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if you do get a cramp, come down as quickly as possible. Yeah. That's it. Great, Henry. And then, and then come down. That was nice, everyone. Come down. And then again. So when you come down, just rest and open. And then again, the tail, the huge feet, and you're going up and you're rolling through the spine. It's gonna be very powerful on the spinous processes of your vertebrae, because you've got that support pushing up. Go as high as it feels right and as it lets you. Go, 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 huge feet. You can even lift your toes to feel the activity of the foot and then relax. And then we, we slowly come down, letting the tail stay up. So the tail is really the last thing to come down and then rest and breathe. And then we're gonna let the head come up. Remember we did this a while ago. It's not a sit up, it's a very open feeling. So if you made a ha sound, it wouldn't sound constipated. Ha, the head comes up, the arms come up. Ha. through the head coming up, uh, 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 wide up. Yeah, great, great. Listen for that free sound. That's how you know you're doing the right thing. Yeah, that looks great. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, your arms in the other direction across your across your chest and uh, just yeah and then just open the arms again and just rest on the floor we'll come up in a moment you can rest a little longer here. Okay, so 
I would do the next thing in your own time so you don't rush off because it's quite strong. You're going to feel it on your spine. What I would do is I would just take lots of breaths to roll off the log, to hang out on your side for a moment, and then to lie on the log with your front, with the front of your body, so that the log is down your breastbone and onto your belly. But take your time, take your time. <laughs> In any of these explorations, if it feels wrong and makes you dizzy, or you know, don't force it, you can just take the log away. But in this instance, the most important place is that you feel the pressure of the log in the higher part of the belly and on the breastbone. And you can turn the head to one side, turn it to the other. If it's long enough and you feel it on the pubic bone, even better, the head can come off on the on the prone version, on the facing down version. And again, like always, we we the secret is to come back to the experience and exploration of your way. Very quickly, your body starts to remember how proprioceptive weight is and how quickly it takes us away from looking at ourselves. Even though you think you're not, we are. And yoga, you know, can really get you into shaping yourself because of the poses, the shapes of the poses, which are wonderful learning tools, but we shouldn't be looking, we shouldn't be fix it, fixating on them. We want to be in the experience of our body lengthening, reorienting, becoming stronger, you know, all of those things. That's, that's what, what we do. Yeah. So here, the sense of weight, just to feel the impact of this pressure onto the breastbone, the organs behind, the heart and its mediastinum, the lungs. Yeah, and the way the shoulders open up, you can turn your head to the other side if you were doing that. Wonderful. Wonderful. And then uh, you can slide off the log a bit and move it away so that you're on your front and you've taken it away. And just have a moment again, just to feel where you are. <coughs> and that's beautiful. And any kind of support you need is fine for the head. It doesn't need to look down. It could look straight down. It could go to the side. Sometimes fingers at foreheads is helpful. Or like Henriette, support at the groin. And the breath, the breath, quite profound in this prone position because the thoracic curve, the curve of your ribcage is being eased by gravity. It's nothing that you are doing. It's like a utterly sublime, sophisticated movement towards a lengthening that is the very, very, very early springtime of a back then. So every breath, with every breath, you're just allowing that rib cage to settle, but you're not looking at it, you're not quantifying it, you're just letting it, you're letting it do it, the lengthening. The more you move away from looking at self and shaping, the more you will discover 
how the visceral river, so that what that is just about to move your head, how the organ river is actually profoundly connecting things, limiting the organs and the way they hang off the spine. They were there not the shape. We end up seeing and worrying about bone position, but the bones are subject to the soft tissue. The hard follows the soft. The hard follows oh, beautiful soft. Oh, you can lay in a special way on the in breath, but because you're filling, even though you're curving, and then you can lengthen in another special way on the out breath because you're empty. Wonderful. Okay. So here we are. Here we are on our front. Um, if your arms are at your sides or under your head, let's say that's what I would do. Put my hands on my forehead like this. I ask you then just to lengthen the right arm a little bit headwards. Sorry, the left arm. Left arm. Stay really heavy through the head, heavy down into the pelvis and tail, all the way down to the feet. And press your finger pads of your left arm into the ground. And then press down. That's really just to support. The arm comes up and the rest of the fingers and hand come up. I'm doing it if you're not clear. So yeah, st straighten your left arm, um, Damon. <laughs> and it's your ear. Yeah. But they can both be straight, but we're doing the left arm. And press down with the fingertips. So the arm comes up and it kind of gets long. It's like your fingers are walking away. And then lengthen and let the head come up. Try not to brace with the shoulders. Try not to use the other arm. Just get long. So you're not, you're not arching your back. You're just coming up. You can look from the left to the right. Yeah. Keep it long. Keep it long. Keep it long. The chin is just barely touching the ground as you go. And then you come down. And then your right arm gets long. Always come back to the weight. Finger pads pressed down. It's not an, a shortening longer through the armpit. And the head comes up and it turns from side to side. And then you can rest, or you can just do both arms. All the fingers go down, the head comes up, it's free. You feel the ribs, the lower ribs going deeply into the ground as you come up. Notice that there isn't any strain in my voice. Let's make a ha uh, sound. Uh. And then rest down, rest down. Okay, so let's bend the left leg at the knee. Reach back for the ankle with the left hand. So don't grab the foot, especially you, Damon. Don't grab the foot because you have no control over the patella of the knee. 
So don't don't do that. Grab the ankle where I where I'm holding, where the nobles of your ankle are, where the low the tibia and the fibula come down there and they stick out. So grab that. And then so you've got your left hand holding your left ankle, your right arm is longish, and you let the head come up. So you're long, you're long, you come to the center. And then you reach away with the knee and it doesn't need to come far off the ground, but it's as if you're lifting it a little bit off the ground. And then release. Don't, don't effort, don't try to hide. Just to... Now, same leg, but change hands. You need to take real care of that. Not, not yeah, on the other side, you may desist from. So just same leg, change hands. And again, come to the center, be heavy with all the bits on the ground and let the leg come up, let the leg come up. It, you can go much higher across, so go for it. Yeah, the leg comes up. So whether it's the leg or the arm taking you up, it doesn't matter, both of them. Reach away with the knee and you're making this deep, deep bend and healthy correction. That's beautiful, beautiful, everyone, to the base of your spine. Yeah, and then you have a rest, and maybe just do it again on that side. Have a rest for a moment. And then again, whether you let go or not, doesn't matter. Get really long, though, long through the knee. Yeah. That's it. Same leg, same opposite hand. One more breath. That's nice. Try not to hold the foot. Try to hold the ankle. If you can go further down there. Yeah, this is great. Opposite arm. Yeah. And then yeah. Internet is bad. Well, nothing we can do. Are people saying that? Mm. Yeah, everyone online, I'm sorry, the internet seems really bad today. Maybe it's the storm. Mm. But you know that the classes go up quite quickly. Great. Great. So we come undone. Come undone. And then I want you just to push back into child pose. So just roll back all the way back and just rest forward, knees together or knees apart, whatever you like. Head arms, elbows on the floor, however you like to be and just really let the head be heavy, really let the tail be heavy. Really heavy into the toes. Let the breath move into the layers of your back. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't work so we're not doing the rabbit pose. You don't need to force yourself into the fold. Just let the weight of your body do something very natural and quiet. Yeah. And then we're going to walk forward again. Yeah. We're long. Long, long arms, press the fingers down, lift the arms, open up the armpits, turn the head from side to side. Great. What I do is I bend the feet and I pull with my heels. I reach away with my heels. So I uncrimp anything in my groin. So I'm quite long across the groin. Then I bend my right leg. And I take my time slowly to go around. Yeah, but what I what I would do, then, I would just do this way. So I would do it this way, so you've got less. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that would be one thing to. So just just light, just keep it light for a bit. Thank you. 
Yeah, you can go down your sweater. You can go a bit more. Yeah, so you want to come back to the center. <laughs> yeah. And then, okay, so we lift up. This is really just wakening up down the same side, like the way Henry is doing. You don't need to go far. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> relax here. Yeah, and think less. Yeah, good. And then release, release. Don't think of the shape. Think of this. Just feel this, the depth of the richness of the movement. Yeah. And then we swap arms. So same leg, swap arms. Okay. Now, now because you know it's because you it's easy to shape the movement. And then what happens is you just rush into the big superficial muscles of your back. So you don't need to do that. Just give yourself time to be heavy, to get hold of the ankle, to line up a bit. And then instead of shortening across the back and going up, think of your knee going away, away, away and the head is going away and the ribs are softening and the, everything's getting long and going up. Yeah. And you have this extraordinary look on your face, you know, like that look that you get when it's just the best plate of spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Vegetarian, even. Yeah. yeah, or chocolate or espresso. That's it. Yeah, so they're long, long, long. And then you have this incredible finish variation. I'm going to take you this way a bit. Can I put my hand there? Yeah, like that. Look. Now, let the head come up a bit and go. Do you feel the difference? So, mm -hmm. on the pull. so you're going that way, that way, and this way. Yeah, do you feel the difference? Because you're very bendy, a bit like me here. So it's not so much about up there, but about long, and then come undone and rest for a minute, breathe. Well, that was good. Yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So let go slowly. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. And then and rest and rest and rest and let the weight come down through the ribs. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, how is that? Quite strong, isn't it? Strong, but also very, very lucky. Yeah, yeah. And you know, the diagonal reach for the leg is actually, if you, if you have lower back problems, it is the most safe of all the movements of the lower back you can do, because it's the opposite of what happens when things go bad. So now, now what we're going to do <coughs> Just, yeah, and you can keep turning your head from side to side, so don't stay forever on one side, especially if you're 60 or older. Mm -hmm. You need to move, you need to change sides more regularly. But, but um, maybe watch me for a minute, because it's hard to describe. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my attention in my left leg, uh, in my right leg, this one here going to be rooted everywhere else. And my right leg is, my arms are out soft and wide. My right leg is going to go towards my left leg and then over, but not like this. So I'm getting very long as I bump into my leg and I stay long. Don't lift it because you see that my back starts to do a whole different thing. I want to stay long. 
And then as you go over, this is the most important bit here, stay long as you go over and you start to have this long diagonal movement through your spine. Okay, of course you could, you could roll all the way over, but it's, it's more important just for now that you play in this area here. And then you've got the right arm and the right leg very, very awake and pulling. Yeah, so excellent, less high Sini and less high John. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you can keep going over John, but don't let it come off. And then, and then you, you really reach with that leg. And it's the reach that makes its way into all of these, is that okay, yeah. into these muscle fibers, the deep diagonal and horizontal muscle fibers of your back. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Long, 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 long. Don't look at the shape, you feel that? Reach in and then reach with the same side on. Yes. Yes, that's beautiful. So, so I should see this whole side lengthening. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you can go a bit more. Mm. Yeah, and then come back. And breathe. Yeah. One go straight for you. I see this whole part moving through. Yeah, it's wow. kind of close where it ends here. Yeah. yeah. And and you know, if your shoulders are struggling, move your arms around. They shouldn't become, it shouldn't be a problem. So you can put them in different positions. Yeah. Okay, so the left leg is going towards the right leg. Remember to come back to the sense of weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a Lower down, lower here. Yeah, you go towards and then you just go over. That's it. So it's much more there. Yes, and then you, you keep working on that. That's it. Yes, 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 yes. That way. Yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Huge, huge awake heels. Mm. Oh, I just fixed your ankle. Mm. Huge awake heels. That's it, Henry. Mm. Huge, huge. Yeah, we have a large part of Europe in this room. <laughs> and uh, Belgium and Holland are winning. Scotland, Scotland's overlifting the legs, and Norway, Norway, I mean Finland, sorry, has a contract here with international yoga. Yes, beautiful. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah, rest. And we're gonna push back and go back into the folded, folded forward child pose. Yeah. How are we doing with all of that? Oh. All right, it's tough. It's, it's an unusual movement, isn't yeah. it? Really unusual. <laughs> but you know, that when it's towards the end, the way you're moving, that's what's needed. Mm. My body can feel it, not um, enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can always. Push you into an ambulance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like the whole thing been trying to move. Yeah, and, and all of that. Like, well, careful, careful, careful. Don't get up on your leg. Yeah, it's better to just sit down. Careful, because you're going to go. Just sit on to your side and not on your back. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing, you know. I think that's what's hanging out in your leg now if it's chronic since that maybe that part probably yeah. yeah so just yeah okay 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 so we're just going to come back onto the hands and knees so damon take your time you don't need to come right away onto the hands and knees so 
Um, hands quite wide, and I would say try turned up because very often we don't try that. So as you see my hands just a little bit turned out like that. So the mouth of the hand is kind of pointing that way, not this way. And then the toes are bent, and we're just going to go up into this folded soft dog pose. So soft in the knees, very, very much over your big toes, so that the ball of the big toe is really taking all your weight. And the little toes are like whiskers, they're just helping you fine tune. But it's quite easy to come off the big toe. You could be wider, but the feet, no, the feet, yeah. Okay. So really get on the ball of the big toe and then watch me then make the tail go up. So the legs are bent, the knees are soft, the spine is long, but you're finding your particular, your particular way <laughs> to go up. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Go up the head. Yeah. Good. Yeah, stay on the big toe. And the body kind of shakes because it's a very new movement. Yeah, do you feel? Yeah, I feel it. And let the, well, let the head hang. <laughs> you feel, oh my God, it's going to be terrible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Walk away, John, a little more with your hands. Walk away. That's it. Me a bit more. That's it. Open your hands. Yeah, yeah. And, and don't worry about your back. You will know. You'll just say stop. No, stop. That's it. Tail going up. Yes. Did you feel the difference? Yeah, that's it. And then you come down. This is good. Careful. It's struggling. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, don't come away. Walk, walk, walk away from me with your hands. Away, away. Keep going. That's it. And drop the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay there. Don't uproot your hands. You, the more I pull, the deeper the roots. Do you feel? Yeah. That's how it should be. Yeah, that's how it should be. Roots into the hands. Roots. Yeah. That's... Yeah, it was you plus the fly. Okay, so you're going to walk away a bit, Henry, a bit more. Yeah, beautiful. Yes, let the, is that okay on the arms? Yeah, let your spine hang through. Wonderful. Yeah, great. Great. You know this thing? This, you could bend it more. You could kind of, here, you want to, you want to be here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to make a uh, um a new movement. I think we haven't done this in these classes. It's a, it's not shoulder balance. Okay, so just watch me. You don't need to go far, but you need to have the feeling that you can roll. I can help you if you're worried. So you want to have the feeling, watch me, that you can roll and then just catch your spine like that. You see, you don't need to go all the way up into just soft like this. It's like you do really, really bad yoga, but nobody can tell how amazing your yoga practice is. That's it, Henry. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, Sini, if you bend your legs a bit, yeah, you'll be more over yourself. That's it, that everyone, that's great. So, yeah, that's good. Be safe, comfortable, yeah, great. So you can soften, that's it. And, and so the more you let go in the knees, the more, you could go higher apart so that your elbows are under you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very, it's a, it's a very restful place. <coughs> That's it. Yeah, so you're used to doing shoulder balance. You can go up if you want to. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. So you you don't want to force it, and you want to be more over your elbows than your head. But it looks good. It looks good. Breathe, and then when you've had enough, you just come on down, and you roll down. You know, you just take your. Uh, I don't know why you're looking over there. <laughs> Yeah, great, great. And then you just set it, you roll down and you just relax. All good? My goodness, it's so good. Huh? Yeah, it was just good, no worries. Yeah, so lots of weight, lots of just letting yourself be on the floor. Breathe, don't watch yourself, all of that performing, competing, all of that stuff, it's not necessary. We're just participating in the embodied river. We've dived in and we're just swimming along down the river. You're not mapping it, you're not counting the fish. <laughs> you're not aware that there's a crocodile that's about to come and eat you. <laughs> But if it's a part of it, what? Flying fish. The flying the flies. fish. The flying yeah. fish. And the flying fish. And the hippopotamus comes and squashes the crocodile, so nothing happens to you. Just floating along, floating along. Okay, so arms quite wide. What time is it? Yeah, okay, we we'll have to stop in a moment. So arms quite wide, legs bent, heels a little bit out, just, just so I, I know that you're not squeezing your bums. Arms quite wide, legs bent, heels out, lots of weight and awareness in the feet. And then we're gonna let the tail go up like we did on the log, way, way up. So enjoy going up, it, because this is not, Seto Bandhasana, this pose is not about going up and staying in one place. It's an endless unfolding up. Then we let the arms float up. <laughs> so you're very, very high up on your thoracic vertebrae. You're like on one and two and on the neck. Do not have anything under your head. Then the arms go over the head to the floor, really let them go. If you have work, bothersome shoulders, you can widen your arms or put cushions under them. You'll know that as you come up. Go way up, huge feet, flying tail. Leave your arms there very quiet as you come down vertebra by vertebra, hanging from your tail. Do not put your tail down first. So it's like a hammock and let your body work its way through those vertebrae. They get so cemented together. Keep going down, keep going down. And then release the spine to the ground. Stay very quiet in the arms. This is a very new, very open place for the upper spine. Your armpits are breathing your neck and upper thoracic vertebrae are in a new place. Breathe and come into the weight of your body, the weight of your arms, huge feet. Now don't change anything, just big feet and let the tail go up again. Don't change anything, roll up through, release the arms even more into the ground, go even higher, higher, lifted by your tail, keep going, keep going, keep going, release, release, you should be able to breathe through it, and then coming down, tail, tail, tail last, tail last, hanging through, huge feet, hanging through, and let's just make a uh, when the neighbor 
Yoda's rush in, you can just say, ha ha, I'm doing my yoga. Ha ha. Thank you. Yogic sobbing vomiting. Hooray. Arms widening slowly. Give your shoulders time to adapt. Wow. Yeah, it's a big, your, your upper vertebrae will be in a different position. We just let the legs go to the left for a minute. We let the legs go to the right for a minute. And we roll around and come up with your hands, with your hands, with your hands. <coughs> yeah. Take your time. Yeah. <laughs> Take your time. What happened? So we can stand it up. So if you get on your mat with one foot on and one foot off. <clears throat> yeah, so the foot off just takes a step forward and you can use your mat, then you don't need to do this when you get used to it. So this is just to prevent you from doing that. You know, These muscles have a tendency to squeeze and to bring everything together and, and the foot goes in front and we don't want to go that way for this. We just want to step forward. <coughs> yeah. So we step forward, <clears throat> put the hands on the pelvis. Yeah, so not such a big step. This is, let's say, the very first springtime variation of triangle pose. So it's a small step which allows you, yeah, like that, to be over your back. Yeah, exactly, over your back. And then we're going to turn. So here we are, hands are on the pelvis. So we can feel, okay, this is where the structure is. And I'm just going to rotate my pelvis towards my back leg and uh, towards the back leg. And you'll feel the leg spiral down into the ankle and your ankle may start to twist off the ground yeah. and come back. Yeah. So you can do that, but triangle pose really is about not rotating the pelvis. So it's actually about not doing this and getting a corkscrew into the leg. What it is about is actually having the pelvis to foot triangle, so belly button to foot triangle remaining stable. And then we take our hands and we put them on our ribs, which is actually usually a wonderful feeling. Stick your thumbs really into the back tissue there. Yeah, it's going to be near your kidneys. Okay, so we're on the back leg, hands on the ribs. So the pelvis doesn't move very much. It can, it can yield a little. But we lift the ribs and we turn the rib cage towards the back foot. That's it. And go all the way around so your elbows are practically lined up with your feet. Huge feet. Bring yourself up more. This is good. Do you have any, any hand fire? Yeah. And lift that one. Okay. And turn the pelvis. Go ahead, turn the, turn the, that's it, and don't look down. So like, you're like a meter taller than you're allowing yourself to be. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, and come undone. And just swing. <clears throat> okay, so we take this step forward with the back foot. Now we're on the back of the other foot. If you were doing what I was doing, it's the outside foot. Hand on the pelvis, hands on the pelvis. Yeah. So just watch me for a moment, especially if you teach yoga. You know how you see triangle pose like that, and then everyone's turned. So this is a very nice way of feeling that this and this there are two separate things, which they really are in the human being and in the development of the person in gravity that needs to lift shoulders off pelvis in order to be able to breathe in the middle. 
So we, that's why I think it's helpful for you put your hands on your pelvis and then you turn the pelvis and everything can follow. Yeah, but you can feel that the whole torso is of a block. It's like a Toblerone triangle pose. Yeah. Then, so then you say to yourself, okay, so from belly button to feet, I'm going to remain quite stable, you know, which is what we do. We root through here. And then I put my hands on my ribs and I start to remember that this is what the upper body should be doing. It shouldn't be just onto the lower body. That's it. And then I turn the upper body, but not the lower. That looks great. And you can keep going and wake up your feet and have huge toes and heels and let that rotation happen. So we're lifting the upper body off. Really, and then come back. And then step back to the first one. Okay, so now we're just going to use the arms. We're going to lift the arms, rotate up. So you really have that's it. And then you can adjust it back a bit if your pelvis just a bit. No, it doesn't need to be perfect, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a great one for you. Keep that there, but keep opening. This keeps opening. But that that's it, you feel. Mm -hmm. So there's this, you can see it where the shirt is pulling. You see the counter rotation. Yeah, great. Yeah, but we did this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great change. Great, great. Great, now you should be doing it that way. You, should, you were doing this. Okay. Yeah, and drop the arms. And then step forward and we go the other way. Huge opening up over the feet. You can, you know, do a bit of a rumba with your pelvis and reposition it and just play, you know, so you know where you are. Other, other way, yeah. Open. Open, oh, we're going to the back there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Open, oh, that's beautiful. Open, lift. Where do you want to look? You want to look out, you want to look back. Yes. So take a moment to really be in the roots, into the legs, and then be in the branches and the lifting. Yeah, and so that wakes up this belly part of the spine. Brilliant. So we're just going to step forward or backwards, and this time, watch me, we can do, we can do the back leg or the front leg. So triangle pose, reverse triangle pose, and we can step, we can step, and you can throw yourself around. Yeah, and, and let it, let it open up through the fingers, through the arms. Breathe. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it looks like you're doing mathematics. Yeah. That's great. Oh, oh, brilliant. That's great. I see. I can really see your root. Yeah. Really rooted over that back leg. Okay, so we're going to step forward with one of the feet, slightly bigger step, long leg. We're going to go turning towards the back leg. And this time, instead of being on the back foot, we're going to come onto the front foot. And then you, you don't go down, keep, keep going up, keep going up. And it's fun to fall over, but keep, that's it. Keep going up and don't look down. Don't look down there. Yeah, it's like you're looking here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, open your arms, it's done. Oh, up up to the front one. Formation, you're formation. Yeah, you're romancing. You're, you're not romancing, you're formation. <laughs> yeah, okay, right there. Now open in here. There, you feel the difference? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, 
I know you worry, but if you worry, you flex. Yeah, yeah that's great. And that are ticklish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But that was best. That was, I'll have to come back and tickle you again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open. Yes, it's beautiful. Open the back arm, Lena. And then try to, that was great. Try the other leg. So we've opened, we come up onto the leg. So people think, oh, this is, I've got to flex and I've got to go down there. So don't go up, up, and then balance on that leg. And then keep going. I mean, you may go to the floor. Yeah, that looks fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Open. <clears throat> Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's here. Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, then it starts to be, it starts to really <laughs> open up. Yes, you feel the difference? Now you can bend in your hip. You can bend and bend and bend and up and up and up and up. Yeah, yeah, how does it Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or even. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, great. Great. Okay. So then just lie on your backs. You can if you want to come back to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Depends on what you need. Coming back to the floor. Coming back to the weight, coming back to the breath, moving you and the nearness. <laughs> the what? The force. And the force goes. Yeah. Okay, thank you everyone. And we'll see you next week. And uh, those of you online, if every now and again you want to make a small donation, that's wonderful. Small is never too small. And it's very easy. Just go to the website. And um, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Have a nice rest of the evening. Thanks, Thank you.